Hello, and welcome back to another review from NA Empire. Today, we're going to be um, reviewing one of the Old Guard, Erdinger non-alcoholic malt beverage. It is a near beer with 0.5% uh, or less by volume. Um, it's uh, a wheat brew, Erdinger Weissbrow. Um, and uh, yeah, this is it's one of the classics, you know. you got the, the, the nice blue color scheme. It reminds me a lot of Paul and Honor, Paul Honor where the... The way you think, the way that they uh, they brand their stuff, um, you've got you've got the, this uh, this good little uh, wheat flanked logo with wheat in the middle. They're real they're real just wheat forward Erdinger. They're all about all about their wheat. Um, I I think um, yeah I think that this is this is a beer that. Uh, I've had a lot of, and I'm, I'm never disappointed to drink. You know, I'm, it's always it's always nice to uh, come across it in a bar. It means that they've at least thought to cater to the people who aren't drinking. Um, it does make me yearn a little bit for the uh, the non-alcoholic environment of Europe, where uh, things are just uh, a little bit easier. But uh, you, you know, the U.S. is the U.S., and um, that's what you got to make do with. So uh, here's what they have to say about it. Erdinger non-alcoholic is crafted all naturally using a traditional production method. Erdinger non-alcoholic is free from chemical additives or preservatives. Thank you for enjoying Germany's number one malt beverage. Um, it's got about 82 calories per bottle, 17.5 um, uh, grams of carbohydrates, 1.3 grams of, car of uh, protein, no fat. Um, yeah, this is this this. This is a, a, a beer. This is, it walks like a duck, talks like a duck. It's a duck. Um, imported, non-alcoholic, Weiss Brow. Let's take a let's take a sip. I do love I do love a cold beer on a on a gray day. Ooh, bubbly off the top already. Look at that. Ooh, look, you can see those little outgassings of. Interesting. Um, uh, it, this is, uh, has sort of the, um, sort of the, the classic malt beverage, older non-alcoholic beer problem where you smell it and it smells, it smells malty, but it smells less like a beer and more like, it, it has like kind of a sweet flavor profile or, or a smell profile for some reason. Um, Getting a decent head off of it. It's got it's got a good um ooh, 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 ooh. ooh close. Wow. Yeah, great head, actually. Fantastic. Uh good good bubbles, uh good sort of cloudy, cloudy golden yellow. Um exactly what I'm looking for from a wheat beer. Uh fantastic head, really, wow. Um Gonna have to gonna have to get through this somehow. Mm. It is a flavorful beer, I will say. Um, so I will say I think that um, Erdinger is competing a little bit with Weiss, with a uh, Wein Stefaner um, for sort of title of best non-alcoholic wheat beer. Um, Erdinger has the it's a wheat beer you know it tastes like a wheat beer it's got the full full body it does like i said earlier in smell and flavor have a little bit of this interesting background sort of sweet flavor texture that that isn't quite a beer you know but it is good um you know, whereas I tend to like wheat beers that are a little bit more peppery, maybe a little drier. Um, this has got it. This has got it going on. You know, this is a beer I'll never be sad to drink. Uh, uh, it it is. It's light. It's you know. It's got good finish. It's something that I would I would love to you know have with with a meal um, or or just uh, oh, yeah. With it, this would be amazing with a bratwurst. Um, this is I think the sort of beer that I would I would go to to. Um, enhance a meal as opposed to just drink on its own um and i and i think i think that uh it does that really well um 
when you're when you're just observing it on its own as a beer, it, it it's solid. You know, um, I I wouldn't mind ordering it at a bar either. But um, it's not it's not the most mind blowing wheat beer, non alcoholic wheat beer I've ever had. Um, and it doesn't need to be. You know, it's a it's a great German imported wheat beer. Um, yeah, I, I would encourage you though try it with a bratwurst or something. I don't. Uh, yeah, it, that, that's that's worthwhile. It's like looking for other flavors in it. I don't see many. It's got the malt. It's got that little bit of sweetness. I don't know if I could really describe what it is. Um, good, good bubbles. Great feeling in the mouth. Um, it's. I would say one thing that this does really well is it actually, it conducts itself. It has the consistency of a beer. It 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 definitely feels like a beer in your mouth. Whereas that's a problem that I think a lot of the a lot of the non-alcoholic beers I run into have. Um, I don't know what they've done for this, but um, it does it like. If I didn't know it was non-alcoholic and I and I and I wasn't looking to taste alcohol, you know, I, I would definitely say like, oh, that's a beer. You know, this has this is everything that it needs to have the the, the liquidity and the cons consistency of beer. Yeah, beyond that, I think it's pretty simple. It's a it's a pretty pretty simple guy, um, and I like it. Like I said, never sad to drink air digger. I don't have anything else to say about it, um, and I actually think that that's a compliment. <laughs> uh, it's it's something that I'm excited to go go off camera and finish the rest of this and and just relax. You know, I don't need anything too high minded. I just want something simple to drink. So yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, uh, and until next time, happy drinking.